During our newscasts today, we are taking a deep dive into the issue of affordable housing in Savannah. In the coastal empire and low country, the housing market is the most competitive that it's been in years. Uh, so how can buyers actually and sellers uh, reach their goals while keeping their head above the water? WSAV Sarah Smith kicks off our team coverage now with some advice that might help you. Many people see the American dream as owning your own home, car, and settling down with those you love. But buying a home in a competitive market like Savannah can be a nightmare. One local realtor says the secret to achieving that kind of lifestyle, creativity. Isn't that what the American dream is? Freedom, like having rental properties, being able to sell your house for so much more equity, like that gives you huge freedom to be able to do what you want to do every day. Investing in properties is what Savannah Realtor Chelsea Phillips knows best. Since 2010, she has been helping buyers and sellers achieve their goals, focusing on properties in downtown, midtown, and Ardsley Park. But the housing market has changed drastically, impacting the people who work, play, and visit Savannah. The housing market in Savannah has completely changed. The prices have doubled, the median price of a Savannah home from 170 to 340. I mean, that's a that's a big change. Have salaries risen that much? Absolutely not. She says the COVID-19 pandemic changed a lot, leaving the United States at a 45 year low for affordability. The interest rates are at the highest point they've been in 25 years. And not only that, our rent rates are insane. Like in the last year, Savannah rent rates have gone up by 23%. That's what? How are people supposed to deal with that? In an effort to make the process easier, Phillips has a list of questions that she goes through with future home buyers. How long are you going to be in this house? What's your goal? Is your goal just to enjoy it? You're going to be there for 10 years? Cool. And you have a lot wider parameters than for someone who's just, who's like, you know, in a, a stage of their life that's going to change really quickly. She says she never wants to steer people away from renting, but there can be major reward from investing in properties, but it is competitive. Phillips says recent data shows there is an average of five offers on every property and one of six buyers is an institution, possibly taking those properties off the market for good. She says working with clients who have a specific budget and certain preferences is difficult, but doable if they keep an open mind. There is still opportunities in everything. You just have to be more creative. You have to work with people who are creative and who are going to make sure that they align that with your goals. And no, you're, you're not going to get your dream house the first time. That creativity can come out in a variety of ways with flooring, light fixtures, even the color paint you choose for your door and shutters. But she says to be smart about the choices you make. According to Phillips, homes with black or charcoal front doors can sell for $5,000 more. We can walk through it and they're like, oh my gosh, you know, I really hate tile countertop. Well, that's $3,500. Or, oh my gosh, this has a three bedroom, one bath house. Okay, well, there's space here. We can add another bathroom. And yeah, that might cost you 10K, but on resale, it'll bring you 35, 40. I took a tour of three newly renovated homes in Savannah. Philip says, if you educate yourself enough, you can tell which renovations were well thought out. You can tell all the electrical's been done in the um, baseboard, it's all smooth, new drywall. She says it's important to treat your first few homes as stepping stones to get to where you eventually want to be. You have to approach it as this is my way of accomplishing my American dream, not the, this is the end product. It is the journey to get there. Sarah Smith, WSAV News 3, on your side. To see more of our stories, go to wsav.com slash affordable housing.